welcome to What If I Survived, the miniseries on Trans Series, where we talk about what happened to your favorite characters if they never died in the Transformers Cinematic Universe. This episode was brought to you by FNAF 2 Bros, Glitch 0 0, Chaz the Autobot, and Snap Awesome 1. And the character we're going to be talking about is Jazz. So after Bomey gave the message to the Autobots that the Allspark was on Earth, Jazz and the other Autobots left Cybertron to make their trip to Earth. Once Jazz landed, he scanned a Pontiac Salt List and he made his way to meet up with the other Autobots. Also, Jazz was the lieutenant of the Autobots. Much later in the film, Brawl attacks a city and the Autobots have to stop him. Jazz climbs on Brawl, dismantling one of his missile launchers, but for this action, Brawl gave a reaction and threw Jazz off him. Later after this, Jazz and the other Autobots helped to put down Brawl for a while. Soon after this, Megatron appeared. Ratchet and Jazz were trying to evacuate some humans because Megatron showed up. Jazz knew that because how many humans there were, he knew the only way to save them was to give a shot at Megatron so he would be distracted at him and not the humans. For this, Megatron got mad and shot a strike back at Jazz, severely damaging him. And later, Megatron converted back into a jet, and he took Jazz to a nearby building. Despite Jazz's best efforts to stop Megatron, it was not enough, and he later met his fate. And according to Jazz the Autobot, Megatron was going to eat Jazz's spark? Well, thank god that was not in the film. And the last of Jazz we see is Iron Knight holding his body, telling Prime that he cannot save him. But, what would happen if Jazz never died? Well, if you don't know, originally RC was going to die and Jazz would have lived. But she got cut and Ironhide replaced her. But let's just say Megatron only damaged Jazz badly and he threw Jazz to the ground and left him. And then the events of the cube killing Megs and the plot of the first movie goes on with the events of Jazz never getting killed. Now, we would see him in Revenge of the Fallen. And because the only Autobot that died in this film was Jetfire, I'm going to say that Jazz did not die in this film. But for what Jazz would have done, I think he would go along with B and Skids and Mudflap so the fans would get to know his character a bit more. And for the scene where Sam is getting interrogated, I would have also added Jazz in there. Another scene I would add Jazz in is in the fourth battle, so Prime and Jazz would fight side by side, but when Optimus dies, he tells Jazz to take Sam away, and Sam leaves with the other Autobots shooting behind him as Bomi escorts him in case he gets attacked. Now for Dark of the Moon, for me this is where I would kill him off. And here's why. So let's take the scene where Ironhide's about to die. Jazz points out to Ironhide that Sentinel's about to kill him. So Sentinel Prick misses and Ironhide starts to attack him. And, in my mind, this is how the fight would have played out. Ironhide tackles Sentinel Prime to the ground, and Jazz is running about to help him to kill Sentinel. But as Jazz runs up to Sentinel, Sentinel Prime with all his strength flings off Ironhide and he lifts up his arm to shoot Jazz. And seeing this, Ironhide runs over to help Jazz, but as Ironhide does this, he gets shot in the back. And they die side by side, and I think this would be very emotional for the fans and very memorable to the series. And if you're wondering why I did not talk about Bombies, because in this scene, I replaced Bombie with Jazz. Well, that's all for this theory. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of an ongoing series. If you have a character that you want me to cover in What If I Survived, leave a comment down below and I'll do a video on it as soon as possible. Well, this has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, you